Now, Bette Midler, I want to talk about your childhood. And da, 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 da. My childhood? What about his childhood? He had one, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to him. I know, I know, because I went there filming. You were born in uh, Hawaii, and they're I very was. proud of you there. Yes, they are. Yeah, and, yeah. and Obama, Barack Obama, he was That's also right. born there. Although a lot of people think he wasn't. I know he was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, how, how, how old were you when you left? It's I was 19. Oh, so you really are. I Hawaii. did. I got in a van. Well, I, first I flew. And then I got in a van. <laughs> and then I got in a van. I was utterly fearless. And that is, to me, when I look back, I have no idea how I did that because I am such a chicken shit. Total <laughs> chicken shit. Don't go anywhere. Don't do anything. I don't go anywhere because I'm terrified. Yeah. I did that at 19. That was, for me, a very big deal. Uh, why New York? Because it, it's more obvious to go to L.A. I wanted to be in the theater. Little oh, okay. did I know. <laughs> you had to do eight shows a week and not ever get paid, so exactly. who knew? But your uh, parents, your parents must have been beside themselves. Actually, I think they were very happy to see me go. <laughs> I think they had had just about enough of her. Oh, she's finally left the house. When you were growing up, did everyone know you were going to be a star? Uh, or, you know, just, or were you the only one who knew? I knew, and I was relentless in telling everyone, apparently, because they all say, oh, I remember when you used to come over and tell me what a star you were going to be. <laughs> but I have, you know, I have no memory. I've airbrushed it from my life. But I think I was relentless. I think I was. I can't, I don't know. But in terms of focus and being able to drive, I mean, yeah. I, I do think a boxer here, Mr. David, your focus must be <laughs> so, the, the discipline. You have to, yeah, you have to be uh, really single-minded. You can't listen to anyone else. Everyone's saying, oh, you're going to get knocked out of this. This is going to happen. You've got to literally blank it all out. You know deep down in yourself how good you are, what you've got to do to win the fight. So no matter what anyone says to you, you've just got to have that single mind. But from about the age of 10, weren't you? Yeah, from the age of 10, I've been getting in the ring and competing. But and when I, you were a teenager, you must have just wanted to go nuts and shag all around you. No, I, I did. Oh, it didn't stop me. <laughs> No, it wasn't like I was. Uh, I missed out on anything. Um, <laughs> so I, just, I managed to, to, to juggle the two. Um, no, but, but, but then preparing for a match, yeah. it's your, your diet, you can't have sex, nothing. nothing. No, got, you've got to, be really, got to live like a bit of a monk, to be honest. Mm. You know, everything that goes into your mouth... Except that you can't have sex. The monkey. Monkey monkey. Yeah, yeah, monkey monkey. <laughs> You, you can have sex, but you can't unload. Oh, good lord. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the physical, it's not the physical side of sex. Yeah, we get it, we get it. You made it very and clear, David. Yeah. Yeah, we understand. And then I got stressed and for a, for, a, for, a big, for a big, powerful guy who's training all, every day, it's, it's very difficult. I can imagine. And that's why when you see me in the ring, you can see the look, look in my eyes, and you can see the other guy get knocked out really quick. Your wife must be terrified when you come home. <laughs> <laughs> Note on the fridge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, listen, uh, obviously you can hear from the screaming. Uh, and so many uh, Bet Midler fans here. Oh, they're called... <laughs> we call them... Are they, are they called Bet Heads? Bet Heads? Yes, yes. Bet Heads. Bet Heads, yeah. It... Uh... And when, when people knew... When people knew you were on the show, all right, calm down. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, when people knew you were on the show, we got lots of sweet uh, emails and letters, requests for tickets and all that stuff. And it, this is just an example when it goes, Hi, thank you so much for tickets. I have so much bet stuff, including a scrapbook and even a bet bear. My nickname at uni is Bet. And when I was younger, I used to ask my mom if Bet could adopt me if she ever died, like the ending in Beaches. <laughs> When I was in reception, which is a, a junior school, when I was in reception, I sang Wind Beneath My Wings in front of the whole class. I love Bet so much. Many thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is Jonathan here? Oh! He's cute. Oh, He's really cute. I, how old are you, Jonathan? 19. 19? Wow. <laughs> Can I have a hug? No, back off, Jonathan. <laughs> You've had your moment. <laughs> Enjoy it. Over. <laughs> <laughs> I can touch her. <laughs>
When you're old, you might have a chacha. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> David Hay, David Hay, uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, world champion. <laughs> world champion. <laughs> I got my belt here. There it is. Wow. <laughs> it seems, it seems, I mean, it looks fantastic, but it seems an odd prize to yes. give a boxer. I you get know. a belt, a purse, you just need shoes and a hat. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I bet you, think you are. All the champions over the years about that one, you know, Mike Tyson, you know, Ali. All those, all my, all my heroes, Lennox Lewis, and now me. Is it the Go same on. one? Uh, not physically the same one. They do a replica after, after each person retires. They let them keep that belt and they make a new one. So this is the one that I'm going to have. Bravo! Good yeah. for you. Andrew. No, it is. Oh, it is very impressive. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, and I'm not uh, taking anything uh, away from the achievement because, well, you could kill me. <laughs> <laughs> But it was quite a controversial mm. uh, match with, with Audie Harrison. Yeah. Uh, because is it right it's the first time ever no one hit each other in the first round? Is that right? Um, it's got to be one of the first ones, yeah. Definitely. Because that is just sort of dancing with no tops on, isn't it? I mean, there's no... A little, a little, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a counter-puncher. You know, what I do is I wait for someone to throw a punch and I get on the outside of it and boom. And he, I think he knew someone told him that. So he, so he knew as soon as he punched, whack, he would have got it. So he didn't punch. I was, trying, I was threatening and threatening and threatening coming forward, sort of doing little, little shots. Like he, wouldn't, he wouldn't let anything go until the third round. I thought, uh, you know, all, all, all my family put money on it on the third yeah. round, so I'll start punching now. <laughs> I think it's a, an amazing sport. I think I, I can't like, believe that people do it. Feel his arm. Feel his arm. It's not like flesh and bone, is it? It's something amazing. else. It's like metal or something. You're Steel. cheating. Uh, <laughs> so are you, are you going to fight the, um, one of these Kitschkos then? That's the plan next year. They've, they, the other guys have got hold versions of the world title, so I've got to go and yeah. clean up. So do you have to kill, but not kill, sorry, beat. <laughs> yeah. 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 You have to beat both of those. Um, ideally, yeah. So ideally. which one are you going for first, you know? Um, I know, the, the little one over there, the little one, he's only six foot eight. I know, that'll take an afternoon. Yeah, he's, oh uh, he, he's, been, he's been making the most noise. He's, he's, he's made these videos of himself, um, all bay wheeled up, trying to act tough, but it doesn't really... Work. You'd like, you'd press you much. No, not one bit. You'd well, like it, 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 really, it doesn't. It doesn't because I first became aware of you because I don't follow boxing. But everyone became aware of you when you were going to fight this creature. <gasps> yeah. Now, have you seen him before? No. No. Okay. So that's what he looks like. But now here's this is him to scale with David. Hi. This is him to scale. <laughs> no, no, that's it. that's how big he is. He was seven foot two. Look how big he is. is. Biggest heavyweight. That's where I won the belt. I won that title off of him. The seven off foot of that guy. That guy. Yeah. Oh my God. He was but trying. He but was you trying. must have been scared. That must be like a death. But look race. at him. He's got his hands like this. Like, don't hit me. Don't hit me. <laughs> but no, much excitement. Unless this isn't true. But is it true that so next year you're retiring? Yeah, I've been 20, I've been 20 years in the sport. You know, I was the undisputed uh, cruiserweight champion, which no other Brit has ever done that. You know, then I'm the only second fighter in history to be the cruiserweight and the heavyweight champion other than Evander Holyfield. So once I unify the titles, then. Nothing left You're me done. to prove I'm Your done. Your work is done. In and out. And then, is it true, uh, next stop, Hollywood? That's the plan. No, yeah, right. hopefully. No. Obviously, I'm not going to be in these guys' league, but... Well, you know, tish. You know, no. you, uh, you're a good-looking fellow, and I'm sure you're, you're very... You, could be, and you can unload. You're allowed to unload. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's done. I'm there. Yeah, it's fine. I love that. I love always yeah. love action movies. I love, you know, Arnold, Arnie, Sly, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. You know, John Clark. They're not known for their tremendous acting skills, but... <laughs> It's the action. I love the big oh, corny line before yes. you shoot someone in the head. Yes, but don't yeah. don't really hit actors. They won't like it. Apparently, <laughs> apparently yeah. you're supposed to miss them by about that. Because have you? Has anyone kind of said, "Oh, you can act"? Or is... yeah, I've had a few offers from a few different people, but I just want to make sure I got my boxing out of the way because uh, it would be a nightmare to try and do a movie while you're training and I'm getting knocked out and it all goes pear shaped. So once my box is finished, it's only next, next October. Then I'm gonna jump hands and feet into it. Because is it fair to say? Is it fair to say one of the, in terms sort of the filming? It's about kind of how to, knowing how to work the camera, how to use the camera. There's no question about it, yeah. And the day, days are very long, and no one really talks about how hard it is. It's very, very hard work. But no, the good thing is, you know, in terms of learning how to work the camera, uh, this is very good. A man called Jerry. Jerry for the Philippines. And honestly, I, I know no more about this man. He's Jerry for the Philippines, and he's posted online 
a master class in how to... Have you seen this? No, but I love things like this. It's how to, how to work a look to the camera, OK? So he does, he does a, a selection of looks to the camera. So, David, watch Take this notes. and learn. OK, here's Jerry's first one. So it's just Jerry settling in front of the camera. What look is he going to do? <laughs> and he a smile. I, I this is an actor. He's drinking. Okay. He's shocked. He's shocked. He's shocked. How's he going to finish this one off with? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, it's a nice action scene. He's chatting away, chatting away, chatting away. It's almost an argument. He notices the camera and. <laughs> Five, five. So I'm talking to you, talking to you. David, hey, David, hey, David, hey. Oh my God, what's that? <laughs> oh, what a Very good. Oh. That's it, done. Yeah, yep. in school. I mean, in terms of, in terms of uh, movies, of course, and Stephen down the end here is uh, currently filming the new Sherlock Holmes movie. You know the. Uh, new... Yes, yes, I am. Yes. 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 And yeah. are you Sherlock or are you. Uh, no, Robert Downey Jr. has taken ah, the part. I play I his intelligent brother. I see. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes has a smarter brother called Mycroft. I see. And I play Mycroft. We look very alike. <laughs> that's, that's why I was cast. Yeah. 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 Do you think that's another mystery I... for Sherlock? Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> 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 the handsome <laughs> version of our DJ. Because hey, I knew you were a Sherlock Holmes fan, but I didn't realise you were what a huge Sherlock Holmes oh, fan. Oh, it sort of determined the course of my life, oddly enough. When I was very young, I joined the Sherlock Holmes Society of London. And Sherlock Holmes is one of these literary figures that attracts an enormous amount of attention and a sort of fake scholarship. I don't know why. It's because there's a certain number of stories and they're very detailed. And people who love them, love them intensely. Mm -hmm. And I was like that as a boy. And so I joined and I delivered a, a learned paper to the Society. I was the youngest member of the Sherlock Holmes Society for a time. And... Um, and it was that that got me expelled from my first school, a uh, list of schools from which I then got expelled, which led to, <laughs> led to prison and, and the whole sort of course of my life, to be perfectly honest. So, so I really owe everything, to, uh, both in terms of degradation and, uh, and redemption, <laughs> to, to Sherlock Holmes. So it is fabulous that you're now in this huge I, Hollywood movie. Yes, uh, it's, it's rather terrific. I mean, it's, I, I don't know if you saw the first one. It's directed by it. Guy Ritchie yeah. and, uh, and with Jude Law as Watson. And they're, they're terrifically good. Terrifically. I mean, they, they, it, it's not... It's what we call non-canonical. It's not based on absolute stories. It's based on the idea of Holmes and Watson and the idea in this second one of Moriarty, playing by um, Jared Harris, you know, Richard Harris's son. Oh, wow. Fabulous actor. Yeah. So it's a really good cast. And Numi, I never know how to say her name, Numi Rapass, the girl with the dragon tattoo, the Swedish actress. Oh, yes, yes. She's, she's in it too. She's absolutely wonderful. Jay's got loads of people in it. Yeah. Loads of people. Wow. I'm not in it. I'm Are you? No. David? No. I have a word of guy. Do you know the guy? Yeah, yeah. So we went, went to the UFC. Uh, the oh. cage fight in um, yes, he uh, loves a few that weeks ago. Yeah, what a that. lovely night out yeah, that must be. Yeah, she was there, Robbie Downey Jr. with guys going crazy. It was all going bananas. Oh. These guys smashed your head out of Did, each other in the cage. I went to a, years ago when I was just starting out, and I, I was terribly excited. I went with, with, with Michael Caine and Robert Powell and Richard Harris. I was invited, I don't know why, to the Grosvenor House where there was an amateur boxing yeah. competition, yeah, U finish UK finish versus show. Uh, yeah. American to youth boxers, and we're all sitting at tables, and they're very ladsy actors, Michael. Mm -hmm. Kind of, and, and I was thinking, well, this has been jolly nice, you know, chaps, <laughs> boxing. And the moment I realised boxing, with all respect, was not for me, was when the first drop of blood landed on the <laughs> tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> And I just thought, oh, God, this is real. You yeah. dinner, no one's six feet away from That's the right. ring. You're, you're sitting there having a steak. Good thing it's a steak normally. As it goes on your plate, and, nah, you mix it up. <laughs> Seriously. National might, Sporting Club or something, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I might have boxed on that. I've boxed on a lot of the England versus USA. I was representing England as an amateur, so it might have been some of my opponent's blood sprayed on your I'm sure.